In the modern era, technology has enhanced various professions and industries, including fisheries. Initially, fishermen or workers in the fishing industry used traditional methods to catch fish in the ocean. However, over time and with the increasing demand for food, the fishing industry has innovated to meet market demands. One such example is Half Farm, the world's largest fish farm. Half Farm was built and developed by Nordlax, an aquaculture company based in Norway. Nordlax intentionally developed the Half Farm project with the aim of revolutionizing salmon fishing in Norway. Nordlax began the construction of Half Farm in June 2015. In February 2018, Nordlax officially signed an agreement with the Chinese shipyard CIMC Raffles to build the first of two large fish farms under the name Half Farm. Once construction was completed, the Half Farm fish farm was transported from China to Norway using the heavy lift ship Boca Vanguard. Half Farm itself began operations in 2020. Half Farm 1, or the first generation, resembles a ship with a catamaran-like hull, but with a length of up to 430 meters and a capacity to hold as much as 10,000 tons or more than 2 million salmon at once. This represents a significant advancement from traditional fish farm designs, which typically consist of a number of floating plastic rings tethered to the seabed to keep the net floating. However, these traditional designs are too fragile for the possibility of storms in the open ocean. The massive fish farm Half Farm 1 has become a stationary platform moored about 5 kilometers southwest of Hadseluja, an island in the Vesteralen region of Norway. This fish catching platform is built with steel structures extending more than 30 meters below the sea surface serving as the framework for six separate net cages. Additionally, Half Farm 1 has a width of 50 meters and a depth of 10 meters. Not only can it hold up to 10,000 tons of salmon, but Half Farm can also withstand wave heights of up to 10 meters and can be raised up to 4 meters and can be moved further from the ocean when severe weather strikes. Half Farm is equipped with technology such as a weather vaning rotor system that allows it to rotate around its mooring point. This rotor rotation process, known as weather vaning, enables the ship to increase the storage area for accumulated nutrient waste from fish catching activities while reducing pressure on its mooring anchor. In addition to Half Farm 1, its successor, Half Farm 2, will be built atop its predecessor and will feature ship-like systems and operational capabilities, enabling it to adapt to all weather conditions. Furthermore, Half Farm 2 will utilize dynamic positioning systems, a common solution in the shipping industry, 
allowing the ship to automatically change position and direction using thrusters and rotors. Based on weather forecasts, the platform will be able to move to sheltered locations during storms. Rolls-Royce will supply six TT-1100 tunnel thrusters to power half farms operations. These engines will also be used to circulate water within the fish cages. Rolls-Royce will also provide four LNG engines for environmentally friendly drilling ships ordered by Nordlax. This collaboration with Nordlax marks the first time in Rolls-Royce's history that it has ventured into the fishing industry to develop new and sustainable methods. To ensure the quality of its salmon, Half Farm will be equipped with a steel-based anti-lice coating that can extend up to 10 meters underwater. This protective device is designed to make Half Farm more resistant to attacks from sea lice, a major parasite threat to ocean fish farms. Norwegian authorities have implemented the strictest regulations on their aquaculture industry, including on sea lice eradication. Previously, the fishing industry used chemical agents to combat sea lice, but this method has become an environmental issue and one of the largest expenses for each fishing industry. Therefore, today, most aquaculture industries in Norway have switched from using chemical methods to mechanical methods to eradicate sea lice. They ensure that their developed technology can quickly eradicate sea lice while still maintaining the health and welfare of the fish. In addition to Half Farm, there is another modern fish farm located in Norway called Ocean Farm 1. Ocean Farm 1 is managed by Salmar ASA, the world's largest producer of salmon. The company has been developing aquaculture technology or offshore fish farms since 1991. Aquaculture is a system of breeding fish and other aquatic animals under controlled conditions and located offshore. One of the goals of developing aquaculture technology is to prevent the extinction of various fish species in the coming years. This is due to overfishing without an adequate replenishment of fish stocks in the ocean. Ocean Farm 1 is the latest technology in aquaculture systems, more advanced and larger. Operating Ocean Farm 1 requires only three to seven workers. From cultivation to harvest, everything is done without any external equipment assistance on Ocean Farm 1. Additionally, Ocean Farm 1 is equipped with technology capable of withstanding 12 Richter scale earthquakes and very strong hurricanes. The platform also has 20,000 sensors scattered throughout its structure to monitor and automatically feed the fish inside. During the construction of Ocean Farm 1, 
Salmar ASA collaborated with the China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation known as CSAC. Salmar ASA ordered six units of Ocean Farm 1 from CSAC. Ocean Farm 1 is the world's first offshore fish farm to have a fully automated system that combines semi-submersible offshore technology with aquaculture. In the construction of its structure, Salmar ASA provided the layout while CSAC designed and constructed the engineering. The material structure of Ocean Farm 1 is made of special steel that can withstand 25 years in the ocean. During its construction process, it required 1,500 workers and cost $120 million. Completed in 2017, the Ocean Farm consists of three main parts, the bottom, the middle, and the top. The bottom serves as the support for the entire structure and has seven supports in total. Then the middle part, or what is commonly referred to as the major path, is equipped with fishing nets and revolving gates. This middle section is where the entire cultivation process from start to harvest takes place. Lastly, the top or upper structure is used as living and working quarters for the operators. Initially, various parts of Ocean Farm 1 were manufactured in factories. Once completed, these parts were then shipped and assembled in Qingdao, China. The assembled platform stands at a height of 69 meters, a diameter of 110 meters, and weighs up to 7,700 tons. Thus, Ocean Farm 1 can hold a water volume of 250,000 cubic meters. After assembly, Ocean Farm 1 was shipped to Norway, taking about six weeks. Upon arrival, Ocean Farm 1 was placed 40 kilometers offshore from Norway and submerged to a depth of 50 meters below the sea surface. In 14 months, this advanced platform was able to produce up to one and a half million fish or about 8,000 tons of fish. Furthermore, Ocean Farm 1 has proven to have a high success rate, with only about 2% of salmon dying during the cultivation process.